Business editor Richard Southern is here. And Richard, this first story might have major implications when it comes to the sale of sodas and sweets. Yeah, good to see you, Michelle. This, uh, this is big. The World Health Organization is reportedly getting set to label one of the most popular artificial sweeteners a potential cancer risk. We're talking about aspartame, which is found in all sorts of things, but most notably found in Diet Coke. But, um, I mean, hundreds, if not thousands of products aspartame is found in. Reuters News reports that next month the World Health Organization will label the artificial sweetener a potential carcinogen in, in humans. And, uh, yeah, that could have wide-ranging implications for sure. We actually saw Diet Coke uh, di we saw Coke stock move a bit lower today. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Diet Coke aficionados out there, Michelle. Uh, actor Tom Hanks said his favorite uh, beverage is Diet Coke and champagne. Donald Trump reportedly uh, drinks a lot of them uh, every day. So um, this could have people, uh, famous or not, uh, thinking twice about their favorite beverages going forward. Yeah, I certainly will be. I'm a Diet Coke aficionado myself, Richard. So thank you for the heads up there. <laughs> and there's another twist today in the battle over online news laws. Boy, isn't this big. Um, Google announcing this afternoon that it's going to not list uh, Canadian news uh, as part of its regular search results or its news search results. It's going to remove Canadian news content altogether, Google. It's a move that could have a devastating impact on Canadian media outlets, which often depend on services like Google to drive traffic to their sites. Now, Google is doing this after the federal government's Bill C-18 passed that would force companies like Google and Facebook to pay news outlets for the use of their content. And Meta, the owner of Facebook and Instagram, has already said it will block Canadian news content on its popular platforms. Meta going one further today, announcing it's terminating the contract for a fellowship program to support the hiring of emerging journalists at the Canadian press. So the situation getting even more uh, interesting and troubling, Michelle. Yeah, absolutely, Richard. And listen, you talked last week about the big fine in the bread price fixing scandal, and now we're learning where that money is actually going. I mean, you think it would go to us since we kind of overpaid for bread, right, Michelle? That would stand to reason. Absolutely. It makes total logical sense. Well, it's not. It's going all to the federal government. Uh, bread brand Canada Bread admitted last week that it colluded to fix prices and agreed to pay a $50 million fine. All of it going to the federal government, not Canadians. Competi uh, competition law experts point out, though, that the main purpose of this is to punish the company, not necessarily compensate Canadians. Competition Bureau says Canadians are free to uh, engage in their own litigation to sue the bread companies if they want. Too bad we're not getting any of that coin, Michelle. I guess so.